another great hero has fallen again in Nollywood industry. Oh my God, waiting they happen now. Director, producer Chico Ejiro just been met on the 25th of December, Christmas Day, where everybody is supposed to be but but now in this mark. When me, and he never tell we be say he just new launch a new movie where they come up, he never even come at self. And aside that, now see this year, he never reached three four months where be say he and the wife see celebrate 25 years of marriage. Ah, my people, before I go leave on up, we could watch this video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet all of you according to Una time. Now, me, your sister, reality latest gist. I beg if not the first time we say the worker they jump this channel, make you help me subscribe and put on the notification bell so you go to get more gist and celebrity show from this channel. Make you watch the video. I don't know what to say. I am completely overwhelmed. Um when I heard it yesterday, I was, I, was, I was actually in church when um, Kabat called me. That's Charles Nova's younger brother called me. And I picked up the phone. I said, I'm in church. I'm in church. I'll call you. And he said, read your, read your message. Read your message. And I, I, I saw it and I was like, what's going on? I had to run out of church. My wife was asking me what, was, what the problem was. And uh, before I knew it, all platforms, Nollywood platforms that I belong to, I just started saying messages. Uh, I tried to reach out to quite a number of people and they confirmed it that... Uh, if I was Charles, I even confirmed it in the group filmic that um, he was one of those that took, uh, he joined in taking uh, the body to the morgue. I, I, was, I was devastated. Um, just in the middle of planning a production, the return of Black Arrow, and, and this happened. So sad. So sad. Buying fuel, and he tapped up my window because I was all buying fuel, and we just talked. I said, ah, I was telling that they produced the, the would be executive producer of uh, the return of Blackout. He has not uh, spoken with him in a while. I should get in touch with him. I said, okay, don't worry, I will get back to the guy. And we just generally just joked. Uh, because he tapped at my window, I said, your money or your life? And I said, will you stop that? He now said, Black Arrow. We just joked and he left. He said he was going to wrap up the set. He was shooting. And the next thing I'm hearing that he, he, he wrapped up himself and wrapped up his life. I, but I just can't get, I still can't wrap it around my head. It, it, still, it sounds so crazy. This was a guy so full of life, had ideas, like Charles rightly said, he is a colossus, an icon, somebody who, Chico could make something out of nothing. He could make something out of nothing. Just sit down here, we were talking, just next thing, he built up a story, and before you knew it, even if there isn't money, I called, I used to call him the master of low budget. He will know how to turn around the low budget thing and still make something out of it. I, I I'm really, I'm, I'm shocked, I'm shocked. But um, we, we thank God for his life that, in so short a time that he, he he achieved a lot and my heart goes out to joy zeb and peter red and the entire family of the age heroes and indeed nollywood the nollywood family my heart goes out to everybody let's all be strong let's all be strong